Jonte Porter is permanently banned from the NBA. The NBA banned him for his lifetime for gambling and he only made $21,000. Adam Silver laid down the most severe punishment for gambling ever by banning him for eternity. Jonte Porter was said to have made 13 different bets using one of his friends or an associate to be able to place these bets, which totaled about $56,000. And overall, he made sure that he always did it on games that he either didn't play in or he didn't stay in. One of the biggest bets that got caught before they paid it out was when Jonte Porter only played three minutes and said he was feeling ill, allegedly, which led to an $80,000 bet on Jonte going under on his stats for the March 20th game being frozen. Jonte Porter was signed to the Toronto Raptors. So that was the team that these bets were all being placed on and every one of the bets was being placed for them to lose. If whatever casino took this bet would have paid this bet out, this bet was an $80,000 bet, which was gonna pay $1 million. This person would have 10 times their money based on Jonte sitting out the game. Playing any minutes allows this bet to go live and this person would have instantly came up a million dollars off of this bet. Because someone as unknown as Jonte Porter had a bet for $80,000 placed on it. You guys don't think that the casinos would be leery of this when they see people bet all day long and they watch for cheating, scandals, all of these different types of things. And that's just obvious. Who's gonna bet on a fairly unknown player and place up that type of money for him to go over or under on some stats? Like, come on now, y'all gotta be smarter than this. He is also said to be the first player kicked out of the NBA for gambling since 1954 when Jack Molinas of the Pistons was removed from the league. Also, another fact that a lot of people may not know is this is actually Michael Porter Jr.'s brother. So it's not like his family was starving or there was a you know a big reason why he needed to start gambling to make extra income. His brother's already successful. His, his brother's already a sharp shooting player that just won a championship with the Denver Nuggets last year and has a bag to be able to take care of the fam. Why would you go and cheat and mess your bag up and your opportunity in the beginning of your career knowing that the league is already strenuous about this already paying attention to the gambling now that all the gambling is becoming legalized in all these areas why would you do that to yourself self-sabotage craziness do you believe he should be given a second chance at some point was the lifetime ban an extreme punishment or is it exactly what he deserves well he lost his career before it even really got started the nba started scrutinizing nba players and referees betting on their games a lot more once the incident happened in 2007, which sparked the NBA to implement stricter rules and focus on gambling due to Tim Donahue, which was one of the referees who was fixing games and causing these outcomes to change and making money from gambling. Was it worth losing everything? Now you have to go get a regular job that probably won't have nowhere near the same earning potential. Well, no probably, unless you're gonna be a business owner that you know turns into the next Bill Gates the next Elon Musk, something like that, you're probably not gonna have the opportunity to make millions in a year, multiple years, all those different types of things. But hopefully he doesn't continue to gamble because we all know that can lead down a dark road if you're not too careful. You gotta gamble responsibly. You know, it's, it's only so much that you could do when it comes to situations like this. And I feel bad for the kid, but like, bro, you have to know this wasn't the route to go, especially when you're getting your opportunity. Your brother's already there. Like I said, I get it if you're coming from the struggle and like you have nothing else and maybe you're in college or something, you try to, you know, do some extras, but you're already in the NBA. You're already building your name. You're already, you know, this person. Come on, gotta think differently. Let me know what you guys think about this. What is your opinion on this situation? Do you feel like Jonte Porter should get some type of chance to come back? Do you guys feel like he was rightfully punished the right way? I feel like the punishment is right because there's been many examples previously of players betting during the games in the locker rooms, you know, people betting outside of there, even with the NFL players betting, things like that. There's opportunities for you to have already learned this lesson. So it's not like it's a blind side in that he didn't know any better or anything like that. He already knew they cared about this and they were going to be on it. Well, hey, short lived career. I wish the young man the best. Hey Splashers, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this situation and where do you see this going from here? Are they gonna be even more strict? Should Adam Silver implement more punishments like this going forward now that there's been multiple examples? Or should it be on a case-by-case -case basis? Catch you guys later.